Making your own VR game can be a long and painful job if you need to make everything from scratch. For that matter, in this video, I will show you my personal top 5 free assets that you can use to push your VR application to the next level. When I excluded from this list both the Steam VR and the Oculus integration package that you already know by watching one of my tutorials on this channel. And go check them out by subscribing if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's move on to the number 5 on our list, VR Tunneling by Sick Trap. If you've been playing VR game, you are with no doubt familiar with motion sickness. A feeling of nausea that is caused by the differences in movement felt between your eyes and your inner ears. Motion sickness can completely ruin a VR game, so it's an important part that any VR developer should take into account. In 2016, computer graphics engineers at the University of Columbia presented an approach to reduce motion sickness in VR by reducing dynamically the field of view of the player when he was either going too fast or doing a sharp turn. After testing the technique on 30 persons, they found out that the one using it could stay longer in VR headset and felt more comfortable moving around the scene. Nowadays, developers give this method the name of VR tunneling and we can see this technique at work in more and more games like Google Earth or Eagle Flight for example. And I hope you are seeing me coming with this one because I have the pleasure to tell you that this technique is already implemented and available for free on the asset store of Unity by the name VR Tunneling Pro by Sick Trap. And I won't tell you how good it is. The project works with almost all VR headsets and comes with a variety of customization such as color, cube map, 3D cage or blur and has even an optimized version for mobile VR game. The package comes with a simple scene that showcases all types of tunneling that you can enable with the number key on your keyboard. One problem I faced while testing the scene was an element in the preset that was missing. So I could not test the other settings, but I could get around this problem by just removing the missing preset. Anyway, if your VR application requires the player to move fast, you really should have a look at this awesome asset. And on number 4 we have VR Arm IK by Curry Nerd. If you want to have ARM in your virtual application, this is the asset for you. VRARM IK is an open source VRARM IK solver that will estimate the ARM position of your player based on the controller and headset position. It's a simple asset that you can directly download on the asset store and which has a simple demo scene that you can extend to animate the full upper body of any human mesh. For me, this is the best alternative to other IK solver which work great in VR like uh, Final IK. So if you are low on the budget or just need inspiration, this is the way to go. Now let's move on to number 3, VR keys by the Campfire Union. Don't we just hate it to type things in VR? Like entering a password or just sending a message by pointing on the keys using a ray is just a bad user experience. And that is exactly why you need the next asset, VR keys by the Campfire Union that you can also get for free on the asset store in Unity. VR Keys has the brilliant idea to make the player type the letter like it was playing a xylophone. It's brilliant, it's simple and it goes with a simple seat that works right away with both the Oculus Touch and the HTC Vive. With everything that you need such as Chief Key for capitalization, Special.com Key, Input Validation and even Controller Vibration when hitting the key. It's not worth it that TextMesh Pro is required for using VR keys, so you just have to download it first in the package manager. Now number 2, things are getting serious now, VR Screen Shake by Zulubose Production. Screen Shake is one of the basic techniques for making a juicy game and helps the player to know when something big is happening, like a big score or an epic boss fight. However, as important as it is, Screen Shake is often discarded from VR game as moving the player camera is the worst thing you could do for a player which can make him feel immediately dizzy and vomit all over the place. But this is where things are getting interesting, even if we cannot change the player position and rotation, the people at Zulubo Productions have found a technique to get around it, I quote, instead of shaking the all view by moving the camera, I use a post effect to be able to have more control over the shaking. I only shake the margins of the screen to let your peripheral vision pick up on it without obscuring whatever you are focusing on. 
Therefore, the technique consists on not moving the center of the view, uh, but instead change the field of view on the edges of the screen, which makes a really nice screen shake effect without having to move the player's camera. And you can download the source code and the shader used in the project on the Zulubo production website. More than that, there is also a little demo scene to showcase different screen shake and density that you can play right away. And finally, my favorite free asset is obviously VRTK, the Virtual Reality Toolkit. Some of you might already know it, but for the others, what if I told you that you could get every basic VR interaction for free? I'm talking about locomotion system with teleportation, joystick movement, walk on motion, climbing, an extensible graphic system that can interact with buttons, levers, and even grab objects with two hands, interaction with UI, realistic body physics, and more. And all that is working with the majority of VR headsets at the same time, which means that you can use one single Unity project built using VRTK and it will work on several headsets. Currently, the third version of VRTK is available on the asset store, but a fourth one is already available in beta in the GitHub page of the asset. With the new version of VRTK, a new rework of the system is implemented, which can be a bit frustrating to other people that use the previous one and is a bit foggy to know where this is going, but with the latest funding from Oculus itself to help VRTK to be a bit bigger and the power of the founder to make good documentation, we can expect a lot for the official release of this package and you should do too. And that is all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will have fun trying these 5 assets. If you want to learn more about VR, you can subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. If you want to watch me make Slender Man on the Oculus Quest, click on the video that should pop up on the left side of the screen. And if you want to watch me make Beat Saber on the Oculus Rift, click on the video that should pop up on the right side. See you around!